Two different types of cicadas will emerge this spring at the same time in lots of states, and it's the first time it's happened since 1803. An Oklahoma State professor says so far, eastern Oklahoma could see and hear both types. News on 6's Jordan Tidwell is live with more on what causes this rare occurrence. Jordan? Lori and Craig, Professor Wyatt Hoback says there's a 13-year brood and a 17-year brood of cicadas about to emerge. And he says the two happening at the same time is a once-in-a-lifetime event. The year 1803. Thomas Jefferson was president. Napoleon was still ruling. And it's the last time we had what entomology professors like Wyatt Hoback can only describe as a cicada apocalypse. It's a really rare event that the calendars for these two species happen to overlap. It's happening again this year, when two broods of periodic cicadas will emerge at once. Professor Hoback says these are different than dog day cicadas we see in Oklahoma every year. Periodic cicadas, different species, and they only come out 13 or 17 years. They all come out at once, and this is so birds, mammals, other animals can't eat them all. There's a 13-year brood and a 17-year brood. But Professor Hoback says each brood has multiple species. The broods have been underground all this time. They'll come out and fly around for about two weeks before they die. They feed on the roots of trees, but they don't cause harm. And then they crawl up the side of the tree, break out of their shell, fly around and make noise. He says it's going to be loud but it's still going to be a cool and rare thing to see. We're not going to be affected here by these mass emergences, but if you are in an area that has them, uh, just enjoy it. They're a little bit loud and obnoxious, but they're not doing any harm. He says exactly when the cicadas will come out is based on soil temperatures. He expects it to happen around April. Live in Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.